Esther Rawl was one of the characters that left a lasting legacy in television sitcom history. She was cast in the 1970s sitcom Good Times as Florida Evans. However, her life both on and off the screen was not as rosy. One notable reason that affected her the most was her personal grudge with viewers' favorite actor Jimmy Walker, popularly known for the show's popular phrase, Dino Mike. Walker portrayed the character J.J. Evans, the creatively talented yet laid-back eldest son of a tight-knit African-American family facing challenges in their pursuit of success in the tough neighborhoods of Chicago. According to Esther Rawl, however, Jimmy's character was not in line with the values the show was initially created to portray. Good Times had gained attention for its impactful narratives addressing controversial issues such as racism, sexually transmitted infections, inner-city poverty, and busing. Esther Rawl and John Amos, who starred in the show, openly expressed their disapproval of Jimmy Walker's character. They voiced their concerns in interviews, asserting that the character was not an ideal role model for black teenagers. The onset atmosphere became tense, leading to both Esther and Amos eventually deciding to leave the program. Even though in interviews Jimmy Walker has said several times that the stained relationship between him and Esther Rawl did not bother him, it seems otherwise because even when Esther passed on, he is the only Good Times cast member who did not attend her funeral. Renowned for her portrayal of Florida Evans in the 1970s sitcoms Maud, 1972, and Good Times, 1974, Esther Rawl was an African-American actress who displayed the same tenacity and strength on and off camera. She was born in Pompano Beach, Florida, and was the 10th child among 18 siblings in a family of Caribbean farming immigrants. Esther Rawl initially made a significant impact with the Negro Ensemble Company, earning a resilient reputation in theatrical productions such as The Blacks, Blues for Mr. Charlie, The Amen Corner, A Raisin in the Sun, and A Member of the Wedding. Even though her fathers insisted that she avoid roles as a servant or maid, Esther found her greatest success in portraying such characters. What made television producer Norman Lear to take notice of her was how she executed her roles well while she performed on stage. He casted her in the supporting role of Maude in 1972. Esther's portrayal of the strong-willed domestic servant resonated with audiences, leading to her own spin-off series, Good Times, 1974. To combat racial stereotypes, she insisted on the inclusion of a strong father figure in the show, played by John Amos. Although her character was that of a lower middle class maid, the emphasis shifted to her home and family life rather than her external work. When Esther briefly left the show when she objected to the negative portrayal of Jimmy J.J. Walker's character, her return was after assurances from producers regarding increased responsibility. In addition to her television success, Esther earned an Emmy Award for her role in the television movie Summer of My German Soldier, 1978. She gained further acclaim for her work in Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, 1979, her notable film performances in Driving Miss Daisy, 1989, and Rosewood, 1997. Esther's sisters, Estelle Evans and Rosanna Carter, were also accomplished actresses. She suffered from diabetes and her health seriously declined in the 1990s. As a result, her kidneys also failed and she had to undergo kidney dialysis. Divorced and childless, Esther Rawl passed away nine days after celebrating her 78th birthday on November 17, 1998. She had a net worth of $3 million. What memories do you have of this incredible legend? Let's chat in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. Like we're on the street corner. Oh. JJ, I don't have time for games. <laughs>